speak. When I was in kindergarten, I played Alice in a community musical production of Alice in Wonderland. While two hours away, my sister struggled to stay afloat in a sea of sick newborns. As I pantomimed eating plastic cake and waving to the Mad Hatter, she fought for breath in the NICU. At the time, I hadn't fully grasped how the expected late nights and endless crying were an impossible hope now, floating away from us like the thick smoke rings blown across the stage from a boy in a stuffed caterpillar suit. I simply stood there in my blue patterned dress and matching headband, my carefully polished shoes a size too small. Here's what we knew. coffin Sirius syndrome is extremely rare, a birth defect named like a bad screw coming off the assembly line. When my sister first started speaking, she had to refine every inch of her words, how to stretch and curl sentences, when to hold syllables lightly, how to make them float, when to let the words tumble forth thickly and when to filter them out. Every night, she stood by the refrigerator, covered in charts and magnets and long, never-ending goal lists, and practiced accentuating sharp sounds and rolling her tongue around the fat vowels, sounds piling on top of each other. What they do not tell you is that disabilities do not go away once they have slipped below the surface. A condition continues to exist even if only in memory, burned into bones that are long grown, overturned cells that struggle to leave behind a shapeless past. My sister still has a tendency to use the wrong verb tense or say nonsense sentences. On those days, it matters that she gets the words right, matches pronouns to speaker, softens into the commonalities of casual speech, as if without the steady slope of improvement, both of us will fall, tumbling down a rabbit hole of our own making. I never told my sister how every time she'd almost died in the hospital, I'd cried at the thought of never hearing her voice. Those feelings will likely never be spoken. Reflection is more a weapon than a tool of sentimentality for us. What we haven't said is this, our own language, created from pure mutual understanding, the kind that transcends any other way to speak and says exactly what is needed, no more, no less.